So we're taking this into a wee review of a strimmer. Um, maybe three, I suppose you could call it, is it a five piece? Two, three, four, four piece? Five piece if you include, or six piece if you include the strap that goes with it. I suppose I should have said and counted these out before I done it on the video. Um, but it was similarly priced to other uh, products on the market um, and when I actually went to buy my strimmer <coughs> obviously it was a brush cutter that I needed it for um, so I didn't really mind so much if you didn't have the, the garden shear part um, but it came with it and I have to say um, out of all the years that I've had um, a garden strimmer attachment, um, I've never used one. This I've used more times during this summer um, than my whole time of ever owning a garden thing. Uh, um, tool you do get with this one here, uh, the brush cutter. Um, these scare the life out of me. Uh, they're a bit like the Chinese star, I suppose, if you <laughs> don't fire them. But you've got that. The only bit that I was a bit wary about when it's supplied, they supply you with a nut. Let me show you. Not the one that's making the video. But just an ordinary, looks like an M10, M12, ordinary nut. So. I'll show you how it goes together, but um, you get the brush cutter. I have used it in probably 10 years. There's an area uh, around my perimeter of the house which I've never cleared. I've just let it go um, and it grew wild. And um, My wife's talking about having chickens and stuff now, so um, she wanted it cleared. So I used this and it made short work, I have to say, of chopping things up. Uh, there was thorns and all through it and uh, silly wee gloves that I these are alright for gardening but not for pulling thorns so I can assure you my fingers will tell you the tale so um, brilliant with that there um, which brings me on to what did I buy what did I end up buying well I bought from a, a local uh, place here see uh, Mintox so this is the Mintox one now this um, I, it's the that says 28 MT. That's the 26 MT, and that's the the brush cutter. And then you've got the 28. So all different parts to go along with. But it's a, a Mintox range. Um, you get uh, also with the brush cutter on. Um, so you have that. Pull the sleeve out, and you can angle it to whatever you want, whatever you're cutting. Obviously, I haven't used it on an angle. I need it straight uh, for the long reach. Oh, yeah, talking of which. Uh, now, uh, this week cap here, this is where you feed in your chainsaw oil. Don't be, uh, if you don't have any oil in this, when you're cutting, you will burn the chain out and you'll be sharpening that um, every five minutes. So make sure you've got oil on it. Make sure you don't catch uh, soil, so even just soil with no stones on it will blunt that so so quick. So um, make sure you've got oil. Um, you can go for the big big oil, uh, the five liter. I just went for this. Uh, it's just a one liter. It's handy, easy poured, uh, and away you go. It's uh, that's the no nonsense chainsaw oil. You'll get that from Screwfix. Um, if you are, th uh, obviously, if you have a range of two stroke, um, these are good items to buy. Um, it's just a mixing bottle. If you can see the top here, it tells you, obviously, fill your fuel up to your mixing ratio, whether it be 50, 50 to 1, 25 to 1, 40 to 1, whatever it is. Just fill your fuel up and then fill up your mix, your instruction manual to any uh, part two that you get will tell you what to use. Okay. So obviously I have two of them. You get roughly about two fills per um, 
obviously the tank that you're using which brings us on to the streamer let me take it apart here so this is your streamer attachment here now out of all the ones whether it be the McCulloch or whatever this has been uh, excellent to work with so obviously when you want your line fed out you're just tapping that on the ground so if you imagine and uh, you click it and your line will come out to release your line there's wee indentations here at the side slots you push the slots in and off comes your spool whenever you want to put the brush uh, trimming attachment to it you have to take this off there's a, a hole at the side there's a hole at the side there just get it like a nail uh, or a screwdriver you turn that round to you have the holes are lining up I don't even know if you can see it on the video so put a screwdriver or a nail in there that locks that and that allows you to turn that off once this comes off then you can put the nut which I showed you and then the uh, brush cutter on and then that's you're good to go tighten it up take the, the nail or the screwdriver out and that's it that's your uh, brush cutter back uh, again this is the Mintox the strimmer is the 26 MT SP hopefully you can see it there okay so you have that um, you have your brush cutter you have your hedge trimmer um, and then which brings me over on to the motor so this is a, a soft start one absolutely very similar to um, the Titan very easy to start but this one here I have extensively used this here uh, I'm not professional um, I just, I just work around the house here and the work that I've been doing um, is certainly on the professional line with the working five or, five or six days constantly uh, clearing areas trees brush you name it this wee motor has done it so so well whenever you're going to uh, start it this is obviously the, the the main motor that comes with it I'm not 100% sure what the power uh, whether it's a, a 40 45 or a 50 cc um, but it says it's the Mintox uh, select 28 uh, MT so but you prime it put your fuel in so we chain in here with them mixing bottles very very easy to fill this here and uh, it's a bit dirty at the moment but uh, screw that off it'll fall down put your bottle up to it long neck on the bottle it'll fill close it back up prime it by pushing this here uh, we semi clear uh, button that puts fuel through it you turn it to on um, and then the only thing you need to do now this hasn't been on in over a week I would say you flick up that, that's the choke once you flick that up pull that uh, honestly uh, I'll leave it give you a quick demonstration even though there's nothing uh, fixed to it I'll get myself back further so you can see uh, just clear some of the stuff out of the way now that, <coughs> this all came built um, it is from a, a company here in um, Northern Ireland just outside Belfast in fact uh, and the company's called uh, Dennis Wilson's uh, Dennis Wilson's of Glen Avey. They're absolutely superb. I've, I've bought different things off them over the years. Uh, probably 15, 18 years. I've been buying odd things now, like water boots or gloves or, or certain tools. Their customer service is fantastic. It's a family run business and I really could not sing their praises anymore. You go to where you think uh, you're gonna get a good deal and a good price. Um, for me, they were fantastic as far as uh, 
I'm just a guy off the street. Uh, they don't know me from Adam, but uh, being a family-run business, I used to deal with the deli and dealt with the son when I bought this. Um, but they, they are fantastic. Um, and I would say they would ship to you or, or whatever if you decided to buy from them. So it's Dennis Wilson's of Glen Avey. Um, there's no point in me mentioning my name because that will not really make much of a difference. You know, I get a discount, I wouldn't think. Uh, but uh, you can try. <laughs> so that's it primed. I have the choke on. That's it switched on. How easy is it to start one hand on the back of your, your motor? Now, once you hear that, just pull your trigger. Okay, and now she should fire up. It. Now, I'm not the strongest man in the world, um, but that was very, very easy to start. I'm doing my sore old knees. There's really not much else uh, to tell you about this here. That uh, basically is the uh, the motor. So, motor, spark plug, everything else. They do service them as well. Uh, but if you're in England or further afield, now if you look at the end of this here. Every it's got a, a bar and it also is chamfered which all sits in so it's shaft driven. Um, but I would say everywhere are all ones are um, so that's your brush, that's your strimmer, then you get your brush cutter, you get your edge trimmer, and you get your brush cutter now. The only other thing, which I near forgot to tell you, if you're doing any heights or any lines, now it does put a bit of a strain on your back when you're reaching out. You get a one meter extension. It is all fairly simple whenever you're popping them in. So if you take the end of your, your strimmer, your Mintox, the Mintox it's probably called, If you look, each of the attachments has a hole in it, and this little part here, little part here, pulls out so you can slide it in or out. Once you slip the bar in, if you turn that round, that clips in and that goes into the hole, and that will hold it uh, perfectly. So. I put the strimmer in and I put an extension bar on. So I put it in, clip that round. You have to wiggle it round a wee bit. And once you wiggle it round, that clips back in. It's got a wing nut at the side for tightening up. And that's you good to go. So there's a, a good long reach on that door. As you can see, I'll stand back. So you have a good long reach. Uh, it comes with a, a belt um, which clips in here. I was stupid enough to leave my belt. I took it off and I, I think I turned it upside down and I would have done. And I actually burnt, burnt mine. <laughs> so I left it close to the engine. You get a really good strong buckle at the end of it. You get a comfort strap for over your shoulder. Um, but it still works, there's no problem. And it hasn't broke, it has melted the catch, or the, the buckle, and part of the strap. Uh, I can't adjust it up anymore, but it still works. Uh, I still use it. Until, oh, sorry. Until the time when it breaks <laughs> and I don't use it, then I'll go back and ban oil. But uh, this is the Mintox. Uh, garden strimmer, brush, hedge trimmer and extension bar. Um, I love it. I have extensively used this on absolutely everything from uh, trimming around some of my uh, garden hedges, uh, round the edge of the garden and the fence. And the used a brush cutter to obviously clear totally overgrown areas. I've used the brush cutter for 
uh, the trees, I've actually ha hired in a, a cherry picker. And with the extension bar, uh, with the extension bar, the brush cutter, um, I've made s only for the farmers here. I got to say, the farmers were brilliant. They cleared up all the mess that fell into their field and just uh, burned it in the field beside me. Made such a job, or I would be constantly uh, up and down to the uh, the dump and uh, trying. I would never have got through it. So uh, there has been we we things that have helped me out, but. This is a range that I have used um, I would say near going on to well, easy over a year. Um, there was about four or five months after the, the Titan. So whenever I done the Titan one, the Titan uh, review, this one uh, I didn't buy until about five, it was easy six months maybe. After that, uh, and when I done that, um, I didn't make a review because I was sort of disappointed by the Titan one. I should have made a review. One of the guys there asked me a question. And I, thought, Look, I might as well. We're all in lockdown, so this is a good reason why I made this. So I'm just showing you the full range of stuff that I've used. I would honestly recommend this highly, highly, highly. Um, I think it's a, a 12 inch. Um, brush cutter. Um, it's similar to, to other ones that are out there. Your chains may not not be interchangeable. From it, it's an Oregon uh, chain, so you can constantly buy them anywhere and everywhere. So you you maybe your local uh, uh, service place may be able to to make up a chain as well. They're just standard chains, but I love it. Um, it's my go-to tool in the garden. Um, and it's never let me down um, and it's two or three times whatever the Titan is and they're probably in and around the same money um, so thanks very much uh, hopefully you it, it's going to give you a little bit of insight into what I use and hopefully it, it will um, push you towards uh, getting something for yourself but I, I love it um, and I can't see it let me down on the button every single time just make sure you use the right mix when you in your uh, fuel so thanks for watching um, and if you have any questions put them in the bottom and i'll try and answer them uh, as best i can uh, i'm not uh, that knowledgeable with it but i'll if i can't find it i'll certainly make, make sure that I, I, I get the questions for you thanks very much Bye bye